guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Don't mind my hair looking crazy right now. Um, anyways, though, um, today is like, <coughs> um, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath from running up the stairs. Um, I am getting a new bunny. His name is Muffin. Yeah, well, his name was Cadbury, but I'm changing it to Muffin. And I have ordered a lot of new stuff for him. Like, the, like, alfalfa hay. 40 ounces of alfalfa hay. Um, this really cute little teepee. This teepee is actually for guinea pigs. But since he's going to be just a baby... Um, I thought we just, I just, like, tried that one out, and, um, if, uh, like, he likes it when he's, when he grows out of it, I will buy him a bigger one, and if he doesn't, like, that's, it's just, like, kind of me testing the waters. Um, there's this cute little bed that goes in it. I also got him a guinea pig hay feeder bag. It's just because, um, like, I wanted it to be small so that he didn't climb into it and, like, not be able to get out and, like, <laughs> suffocate. <laughs> really cute. It just can clip onto the bars. Um, he does have a cage right now. This is what he has. There's going to be a mat down there, and, um, I know about, like, up here on the second floor like i know it has um these like gridded like grid flooring which i know that bunnies do not have padding on their feet so we took the same mat that we're using for the bottom and we like cut it out in the shape of um in the shape of the top floor so that they and this mat is really thick too like it's waterproof so there's like um there's like a layer underneath so it's really good um and it definitely it will protect his little feet i got a new litter box so i think i sh i showed you all the new stuff i got oh it's definitely gonna work i just like i think i'm gonna have to cut the sides off or something though i haven't set up his cage at all um it didn't come with a door which is odd i will see you guys in a second <laughs> cage except for my tv so i don't really know how this is like a heavy tv i don't really know where i'm gonna put it but yeah you guys get to see a time lapse of me doing that so <laughs> took the TV off of the cage. The problem is a cord came out in the process. I, it can go back and I just don't know where. Um, I just tried to figure it out, it just didn't work. So, yeah, I'm gonna move this cage in a different way because I want it against this wall, this like this one right here, not this one. So yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. So I've almost turned the cage. If you can't tell, I have a little bit of a cold. Just ignore it, please. Um, I almost turned the cage exactly the way I want it. But this is not a part of the cage. I'm going to snip that off right now. I called in for backup because I 
it's just too weak to do it. So my mom brought in like, um, they're like those things that are like scissors, but they're not scissors. I'll put it up on the screen right here if I can um, figure out what it's called. I don't think I'm going to be able to though, so it probably won't be up there. As, anyways, she got it off. So this was like the thing. It was like this on the cage. And one side had the zip ties on the other didn't. So I could pull it back, stuff hay in, and then shut it. Um, it just didn't work. So now that's off. These zip ties were like unbreakable to me. So, okay, now I'm just gonna finish turning the cage, which will be done very soon because it's not even gonna make it a time lapse. Like, done. Just need to push it back a bit now. Okay, there. It's snowing out. interesting experience honestly okay so I think I need to get over here okay hello Congratulations to me, though. <laughs> okay. So, now that we have the mats in, I mean, as best as we could, as best as I could, yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. I have to get back in there. So, I don't know why I just came out. Like, no, like, in... A couple seconds, I literally have to get back in there. So. Well, I had to 
come out. I wish I had someone to help me right now. Like, I wish my friend was here or something. Okay. Okay. I'm just deciding if I should cut this. I think I definitely should. I mean, that is like a lot of extra that he could just chew on or something. I don't really want to risk that. Where are my scissors? <laughs> Even Bubs loved it. So I have that coming. It's from Oxbow. I love the Oxbow brand. That's what that's where I got his bedding from. I'm his, not his bedding, his hay. And I just love them. I also got this was a tunnel thing that they're supposed to like go into. It's like a little sack. But Bubs hated it, so I put hay in it. I might end up taking the hay out and testing this with muffin though, like normal. But this is like this has Timothy hay, so I think this is like just a little like treat because his main hay is gonna be alfalfa, obviously. Um, but yeah, Oxbow. I think I got this from them too. Just like love their things. So yeah. exactly 12 30 um i just got back from physical therapy so i think i'm going to just work on the enclosure a bit i want to there are some things i have that i need to decide if i'm getting rid of or still using such as like, such as this hidey house um, like, these holes just, 
don't make it a great hidey house. You're supposed to put hay in them, and I did for a while until it just, like, ended up being annoying and hard to get okay. in because the top doesn't have, like, any opening. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But, yeah, we will have to figure it out. So, yeah. to the tunnel or we're here next to the litter box so Christmas scarf, you guys, um, some of you may have seen it from that little post I made, super cute, I really loved it, green was his, green and yellow were his favorite colors, I guess they weren't his, like, favorite colors, but they were, like, his main color scheme, so I always said they were his favorite colors, so this scarf was perfect, um, this, you're probably wondering about this, it was not from him, actually, this was from me ripping it off of a, Christmas decoration, but, yeah, but I never left it, this on him, like, without me being there, he actually only ever wore it once, for which was for just a quick photo shoot I did, I just snapped a couple quick photos, like, used treats to, like, get him in poses, and then he didn't wear it again, because, um, he didn't really mind it, but, I don't know. A lot of bo bunnies don't like wearing costumes and it's just like better to keep it away from them sometimes. I think we're nearly done. I just, I definitely think this is short enough for him because, I mean, I know he's a, like the litter box. I know he's like a baby, but um, I know he's like a baby. But it's not like he's a mouse. Like, I think he'll be able to get into that just fine. So, yeah, I'm just going to go check out the pile I have over here of bunny stuff. And 
I'm gonna make a get rid of pile, um, a keep pile, cause it's it, either it's special for me or I wanna keep it for when muffins older, and a, a pile of things that I still need to put in the cage. So I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> Okay, so, so good news is the cage is done. I have put everything in there I needed. Um, oh, except toys. I do need to put toys in there. I do have some right here. I have, have some coming and I also have a snuffle mat coming for um, hit the cage. But it is pretty much done. Like the main big things that needed to be in there are in there. Um, so this is the get rid of pile. You pro um, you guys get, got to see me struggling with this. So I'm getting rid of this because there is a huge cut in it because it was way too big for his cage. But I still wanted him to have a tunnel. And so I cut it and put a piece in there. I'm getting, and so that's why I'm getting rid of this because I don't really have a use for it anymore. I'm getting rid of this because it's the same thing. I don't have a use for it anymore because I got him a bigger, a better litter box. And I don't really like, there's really no need to keep this. Like, I, I know it was like Bub's lit, first litter box, his only litter box actually. But it's just like, I can't keep everything, so... And obviously, I'm keeping this because I just got this. This was just in my bunny pile, so I had to organize everything. So I'm keeping this because it's the 40 ounce. It's a it's a 40 ounce bag of alfalfa hay, and I was about to put this in the get rid of pile, and then I realized because it you guys saw me struggling to cut it off um, yesterday. Because it used, I was using it for a hay feeder, but it just didn't work. Um, but I realized like I could just like use this as a little toy basket or something. So because a lot of people on YouTube have toy baskets, and it just looks like it helps them to keep it more organized. So and you guys can't really see this, but obviously I'm keeping this care first bedding because like I need it for him. So, but yeah, the cage is pretty much done. I, um, the only bad news is I still can't figure out what to do with th this thing. Um, but I'll figure it out eventually. I am going to put some toys in here right now, though. officially finished so yeah i am going to give you guys a little tour of it so yeah so i don't want to put too many things in here it's not going to be, um like too crowded that's why you can see he has some like big space over there some spaces up here so that he can like run and binky so i forgot to mention throughout this entire video that once he is older and litter trained, he most likely will be free roamed in my room. So just wanted to add that on. Enjoy the rest of the video. Um, so over here is his little, like, a little weaved grass mat. Like, I think it's like Timothy hay or Timothy grass or whatever. Um, there's his stacking cups with pellets. Um, there's his salt and mineral blocks. So that's his little mat area, just like he can play there and stuff. Here I have some toys. Over there is his litter box. Um, I really like this litter box better than the old one. It just like looks, I feel like it looks cleaner. I don't know why, just like feel like it looks better um his ramp i'm just finished the second the first floor though 
the water that I will fill, like like I said, like a minute before we leave. Um, the tunnel. It's a little, just like a cute tunnel. He can hide in it if he wants. He can run through it. Really, whatever he wants. Here is his toys, just to see if he even like likes the loofah texture. If he does, then I may buy him some more natural fruit infused ones. The water, and now up the ramp. Um, his little teepee, I think that is like the cutest thing. Um, over here is that cat scratcher. Um, and here I'm gonna put a snuffle mat. I'm gonna put it right here in this empty space there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I will, um, like make a new video of like, I'll do like a little vlog of like a couple, like an hour or less before we leave, probably like not an hour, like a couple minutes before we leave, I'll start a vlog and I will like show you guys me filling his hay, his water, making sure everything's ready for him. Like, and then in the car, it's an hour drive, so I won't show you the whole drive. Um, I'll just show you clips and then like, I'll show you guys me getting him and I'll show you guys in him in his ca little cage and stuff. I'll just like, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.